How's it going guys and welcome back to the lair and today is part two of the Zendikar early access streamer event and uh, the second death a second deck that I wanted to work with was a Demir Rogue deck uh, seemed like uh, it's probably gonna be uh, I don't know about tier one but maybe tier two in the meta um, but anyways this is what I came up with I call this Zareth Enforcer um, before we get into it, I just want to say if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It's free to you and helps us out so much. Also drop me a comment, talk about strategy, deck ideas, misplays. I read the comments daily. And if you have any friends or family that are into magic, please share the channel with them. And lastly, uh, one thing I'd like to uh, share with uh, any of my new subscribers or followers on either my YouTube or Twitch page, uh, just reach out to me in the chat on either app and I can respond with an in-game code that you can use in the Arena Client to unlock a mystery gift from Wizards. So excited to be able to offer that. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Let's get into it. Uh, onto the one drops here. We have the full play set of Merfolk Wind Robber. He's a 1-1 one -one with flying, and whenever Merfolk Wind Robber deals combat damage to a player, that player mills a card. And we can sacrifice him and draw a card. Activate this ability only if an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard. We're running the full playset of Thieves Guild Enforcer. She's a 1-1 with Flash, and whenever Thieves Guild Enforcer or another rogue enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent mills two cards. As long as the opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, Thieves Guild Enforcer gets plus two, plus one, and has death touch. On to the two drops, we have the full playset of Anti-Cognition. It's an instant counter-target creature or planeswalker spell unless its controller pays two. If an opponent has eight or more creature cards in their graveyard instead counter that spell and then scry two we're running the full play set of drown and lock at instant speed we choose one either counter target spell with converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of cards in controller's graveyard or destroy target creature with converted mana cost three cost less than or equal to the number of cards in its controller's graveyard we're running the full play set of Soaring Thought Thief. He's a 1-3 with flash and flying. As long as an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, rogues you control get plus one, plus zero. And whenever one or more rogues you control attack, each opponent mills two cards. On to the three drops. We have three copies of Glass Pool Mimic uh, or Glass Pool Shore, so it could count as either or. And from what I have gathered so far, you have to choose it's either going to be a land or it's going to be the creature and it cannot change into uh, either or uh, later on. So you have to make that decision, but it still counts as a land, so um, we took out three lands that we would normally uh, be playing. Um, so we're basically getting three extra possible spells. Um, but anyways, Glass Pool Mimic uh, enters the enters the battlefield as a copy of a creature you control, except it's a shapeshifter rogue in addition to its other types. We're running the full play set of Brazen Borrower. This is an adventure card, so the adventure side is Petty Theft at instant speed. Return target non-land permanent an opponent controls to its owner's hand. And then the creature side is a 3-1 with flash and flying. Brazen Borrower can block only creatures with flying. We're running the full play set of Night Hawk Scavenger. Uh, he's a 1 plus star 3 flying, death touch, and lifelink. And Nighthawk Scavenger's power is equal to 1 plus the number of card types among cards in your opponent's graveyards. And then another split land card, Agadim's Awakening or Agadim the Undercrypt. Um, so it can either be a uh, swamp or we can cast it for the sorcery. Return from your graveyard to the battlefield any number of target creature cards that each have a different converted mana cost X or less. And then onto the four drops, we have three copies of Rankle Master of Pranks. He's a 3-3 with flying and haste, and whenever Rankle Master of Prank deals combat damage to a player, choose any number. Each player discards a card. Each player loses one life and draws a card, and each player sacrifices a creature. And then finally, another new addition from the uh, Zendikar Rising set, Zareth San the Trickster. He's a 4-4 with flash, uh, and then his uh, ability we can activate return an unblocked attacking rogue you control to its owner's hand put Zareth San the trickster from your hand onto the battlefield tapped and attacking 
Whenever Zero Sand deals combat damage to a player, you may put target permanent card from that player's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. It's retarded. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the deck. Uh, we're trying to be aggressive, but also um, threatening uh, the mill side of the deck as well, so we're kind of doing a two-for-one there. Um, so getting into the lands, we have four either uh, Merc Water Pathway or Clear Water Pathway. This is really cool because you can choose either a swamp or an island depending on what your needs are at the time, and it comes into play untapped. Uh, seven islands seven swamps and then one temple of deceit and like i said the glass pool mimic also can be or i should say also can uh, enter the battlefield as a land if we need it as well as the agadim so technically we have 25 lands technically but uh like i said this is my uh my first uh, run with this deck um so please Bear with me if I make any misplays or lose quite a bit. We're just here to have fun and check out the new cards. So let's get into it and see how we do. Yelimitado. So we technically have a three lander here, so we will keep this. I guess we will lead off with <clears throat> an island into a merfolk wind robber. I guess let's do backside, right? We will have it enter tapped. We'll attack with our wind robber, maybe. I guess we have to take the clear water here. Um, and then I guess we hold up. I'm gonna bounce the Lotus just in case he drops a land here. I don't want him to get the extra value out of that. <clears throat> so let's see if we can do this.
So he hits, and then we do Teferi. Yes. Let's plus it up. Discard a card. Um. So yeah, that was pretty. Uh, it's pretty sick. <clears throat> now the opponent has to also worry about a Teferi. <clears throat> Okay, another Lotus Cobra. I think we'll take that Terror of the Peaks for sure. Um, yeah.
not. Uh, I think we'll get rid of that. Discard it. Oh, the Genesis, okay. This this uh, this match has definitely been all over the place. Hello. there so I'm not 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 mad at that got to see Zareth in action it's, I feel like that's a pretty nutty card especially in the right shell I think that could be really dangerous I mean it's like potentially what turn four turn four stealing permanence I mean I guess it's based on what you hit in the graveyard but it still seems pretty pretty shitty right <clears throat> but not if you're the one doing it Still trying to figure out this, uh, the split card stuff. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Diego again. be mulligan here seems a little bit better with the double enforcer definitely with the Xerath. Um so I guess we drop the island so we'll 
we'll drop the island. A little Azorius action, okay. Creatures you control get plus one plus one until they move. I think.
handsomely for that. Have to survive, right? Pull your blood pipe. Cry every time. Love you, Daddy. Love you too, man. Alright, so we got a two lander here. We've got a cut. Yeah, we're gonna keep this. Okay. I think we play Merfolk Wind Robber first. Forcer. Oh my god, this looks like a damn some kind of a control deck. A lot of 
shatter the skies and stuff. This deck has some explosive starts, man. This guy would have been... He really wants to play that, I don't know why. We just counter that, right? So he answers my rankle. Oh fuck, I forgot I was tapped out. Fujin. Look at the town for sure. Oh, yeah, everyone is there. Cool. Got him. All right, one for the rogues. One for the rogues. I like it. All right, let's do one more with the rogue. Enjoying this combo. Yeah, I could see this being, um, could definitely see this being a, a top tier deck, I think.
Oh no. I'm playing croaks, cro croakies again. Let me see if he just quits. Uh, one more look at this. This looks a little bit better. This poor guy, he's like probably cursing. trouble here. Hmm. Since he's running Sprite Dragon, I guess we'll hold up Anti-Cognition. Or keep him out of blue, that's nice. I wish anti-cognition was drowned in the lock, though. Good on that, man. Holy fuck, did I just beat cro Crokies? No. Now he has to deal with my board and deal with my card. I don't 
Maybe he's running counter spells. Holy shit, I beat him! You beat who? Crokies. You beat who? I beat Crokies, the world champion. What? <laughs> I kicked his ass. Oh shit! That yeah. was awesome! It's officially me to the best magic player in the world. <laughs> I don't know about all that, but. You beat the world champion! That was awesome. Wow. Well. He kicked my ass in that first match, and, and I beat. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Are you proud I'm of so, yourself, Daddy? I'm so happy right now. That well, this is uh, this is gonna be my new official uh, favorite deck. Um, if I could change anything, I think we definitely need some card draw. So maybe cut down on like. I feel like drowning the lock belongs here. Maybe cut. Hmm. Maybe cut one Nighthawk and one Anti-Cognition for Anti-Cognition, one Nighthawk. For and into the story, I believe it is. This. Something like this. Uh, yeah, so that's my only thing I, I could come come from it. I will be putting the deck list in the description of my video. I'm going to leave you guys at that. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Um, yeah, so uh, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It's free to you. It helps us out so much. Uh, also drop me a comment. Talk about strategy, deck ideas, misplays. I read the comments daily. And uh, if you have any friends or family that are into magic, please share the channel with them. Um, and then don't forget if you're going to be a new follower or subscriber on either my YouTube or Twitch channel, please just reach out to me in the chat um, and I can respond with an in-game code uh, in Arena that you can use to unlock a mystery gift from Wizards. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.